Hi, this is Kevin for Pixelvert.com. In this video, we're going to be creating a cool looking photo montage, photo collage effect using Polaroid frames and a single picture. I've done videos similar to this in Photoshop CS6 and I think you may want to have a look at those videos, which I'm going to link to in the description if you want to know more about the techniques or the type of technique that we're using here. So we are going to start off with a background image. Use the rectangle tool to create a square. Hold down shift and then alt drag the layer down until you get a duplicate layer. On the lower duplicate, we're going to choose a kind of a white color. I'm choosing a very bright gray color and then using the free transform, I'm going to increase the size of that layer. So we get a somewhat taller upper frame and a much wider lower frame. This is really what the Polaroid borders usually look like. We then apply some layer styles on the top rectangle. We're going to double click, drop the fill opacity down to zero and choose a knockout of deep. That allows us to see the background layer. On the lower rectangle, we're going to apply a drop shadow and you can kind of move the shadow around until you get an effect that you like. I've got it at a fairly small size. Go for something fairly discreet. That's what I suggest, but experiment with different settings. I'm going to just alter this a little. I'm using global light. And I suggest you use global light for all your layer styles in this particular for this particular type of effect. Uh, opacity is around 66. Let's go to bevel and emboss. Hit reset to default and then drop the depth all the way down to 1%. The size can go down to about one pixel. That gives us a very, very subtle looking bevel and emboss. Let's hit OK. And now let's go to the move tool and just alt drag the layer. Now, if you do that, that doesn't quite give us the effect we want. So let's group the two rectangles and then go to the move tool, choose auto select, choose group, and then you can alt drag the groups until you create more versions of the photo frames. All that's left now is to arrange these in a way that you want. So I'm going to pause and do that. There we are. And all I did was just basically hit Control or Command T and then rotated the layers or the groups until I got the effect that I wanted. Now we are going to create a pattern. So we go to the background, click on the adjustment layer icon, and we're going to choose pattern. And I'm going to choose something which will go well with this image. Let's choose this brown color, this brown paper. There are lots of options here. Let's hit OK and let's create some breathing room using the crop tool. So I'm just going to zoom out. We'll drag out the image like that. And you might find that some of your groups are just hanging beyond the image boundary. So just click and drag in until you've got the effect that you want. And it's as simple as that. What I'm going to suggest is that you take a look at the other videos, which will be in the description just to get a bit more, just get a few more ideas on how you can use smart objects and create templates and so on. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.